Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day, and we are going to be kicking into 2023. So let's make it a great one, folks. Always do your best. This is the perfect card for today. You know what I did today, folks? I, I picked out four cards in the deck. Then I shuffled them up, and then I picked one out. And it's so wild, because this is the one that I, I thought would be applicable. But here we go. Surrender. Let go of the past. Whatever life takes away from you, let it go. When you surrender and let go of the past, you allow yourself fully be alive in the moment. Letting go of the past means that you can enjoy the dream that is happening right here, right now. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 282, Nasdaq's up 102, SP's off 38. Gold, gold contract up a dollar 80, trading at 18.27 an ounce. We have silver down 15 cents, 24 dollars, 9 cents an ounce. Light sweet crude up 2 dollars, 80 cents, 80 dollars, 40 cents a barrel. Notes and bonds. A 10 year note down 10 ticks, trading 112.03, the 30 year off 25 at 124.23 in King Dollar. King dollars down uh, 263 ticks, trading out at 103,573. Euro is at 106. Yen is at 131.07. And the British pound is at 120 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, bottom line, the spy out here, you get a sideways movement you're down 360 you know you're below actually the low the, even the highs of yesterday right now we're at 379.82 uh, well the low is 379.08 bottom line you get an abc structure down the b point on this is the 377.85 right now we're at 379.95 we go take a look at the uh, ndx 100 and the q's are the, the weakest out here folks the q's are going to just get slammed beyond belief that's what it looks like so the q's the bottom line the, the b point on the q's 266.95, we're at 294. The October low is 254. Your price projection is 244. So when we bring this up, take a look at where 244 is here. Bottom line, the highs of the lows are 219. So you, let's see, there's 244. So we, we're talking about, yeah, we're going, we're going to the highs of the lows of March of 2020 and that is going to be quite a deal and you know the bottom line is it'd be hard to break that down uh because of the fact that you have the aspect of so much volume so what happens is that when you have a lot of volume folks right is that if you're looking for a market turn what you want to actually happen is that you want this to be fast and furious without stopping getting down to those points See, the longer that you stop, what, it, what has happened here is this. This is what the most dangerous part of the market is right now, is that we have gone sideways, okay, basically building cause for like six months. That's how this shakes out. You know, you know, if we take a look at this, you'll see the low that was established in June was 269, okay? You bounce all the way up to 334. You bounce back down to 367. You go, we, we bounced again up to 396, but you didn't move. That is what makes it so dangerous, meaning that what you, what you get is that you get the aspect that the longer that you can build cause, it's like working out. The bottom line is, let's say, whether you swim, laps, whether you run, whatever you want to do, the longer that, you know, you're basically building cause, there would be training, training, training. Then you get the race, then bum, you, you come out of it and you really get some action going. We go to the gold contract. We take a look at the gold contract. What we have with the gold contract out here can't move. That's the bottom line. And that's with the dollar down out here today. So if we take a look at gold, what you're going to see out here is you had the, we had the first, there's one, two, three. There's, there's, you, you had some strength here, but each and every time it got weaker and weaker. Okay, so the, the big strength out here was on the, the let's see, the 13th. The 13th of December, we got to 1836, you did 231,000 contracts, right? 
Then you try to basically break it, and you didn't make it to the highway at 197,000. So you go 197,000 versus 211. And then we get over it, but yet it couldn't hold price. Now watch this. 160 versus 197 versus 230. What does that set up? That sets up, that's telling me we're going to have a pullback. And it's going to be all about the downdraft, the ABC structure on the way down, which is confirmed. And my take is that we're going to have gold and silver pullback is the aspect of what we have here is this dollar somehow is going to bounce. You know, because we know that the market doesn't like a dollar when it's going higher. Now, today, it doesn't like a market that the dollar is going lower. You know, now that, that certainly can happen, you know, one or two days. Some of the higher volume equities out here, uh, you have Tesla's flat. You got Amazon down a buck. We have, uh, there's not much movement out here, really. You get uh, Intel up 15 cents. Verizon's uh, flat. You got, uh, let's see, let's go inside the Dow Industrials and the strength versus the weakness inside the Dow. Point wise out here, what we have is this, is that you have Chevron putting six points in, JP Morgan two, Boeing two, taken away from it. Home Depot, minus 37, Big Mac minus 25, Travelers minus 13. Inside the NDX 100, the strength versus the weakness there. You have Lucid uh, up 1%, 1, 1 uh, Dexcom's up 7 tenths, taken away from it. Rivian's down 3%, Mercado Libre's off 2.9, Syntest is off 2.1. And JD is off 1.9. Let me just go look at the Syntas for a second, because Syntas, we're looking at this, and this is, uh, okay, so I can't make the high. Okay, this could be the beginning of this. This is, this is an important one to look at, folks, um, because what happens there is that if we're going to come into a recession, you are, you're going to see Syntas at much lower numbers, because what happens there is that that's when retail places start closing down, companies start closing down, they don't need as many... Um, of the products that Syntas has. And Syntas has just about everything. Dow, Dow Industrials right now trading down 223. The Nasdaq's off 80. S&P's down 29. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.